Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. So, I was tooling around the internet, stumbled on an article on N World, which led me to uh, Geek Native, which led me to an interesting, I don't know if it's really a rabbit hole. But, okay. A Redditor on Reddit's Judaism community spotted a culturally minded policy change at Paizo. Before we go any further, I'm not going to tell you that this is a wrong decision. This is a right decision. I got something else I want to mention. The Pathfinder publisher will stop using phylacteries as it has a real world cultural and religious meaning. Soul cages will be used instead. So this is apparently found in the preface to Book 5 of the Adventure Path, Strength of Thousands, Doorway to the Red Star. And the decision is explained as follows. Starting with the Lich Dwan deck in this adventure, we're making a long overdue terminology change. The use of the word phylactery as the item in which a Lich stores their soul is both inaccurate and inappropriate. Given the evil nature of liches and the word's connotation with real world religious practices, instead, liches in Pathfinder 2nd Edition store their souls in objects called soul cages. An act that liches see as an ultimate act of defiance against the cycle of life and death. Liches consider their souls not as things to cherish, but as weaknesses that, once locked away in a cage, allow for eternal and death. Apart from this change in name, the mechanics for how witches, for how liches, Halloween's in my head, function remain unaltered. All right. Now, phylactery is not a Hebrew word. Phylactery comes from the ancient Greek phylacterium, protectant. And uh, phylacteries are, uh, as the current meaning would be, yes, it's used in Judaism. Yes, it's also used in the, it was also used in the early Christian church. And also refers to an amulet charm or safeguard against harm or danger. This is from dictionary.com. So, there's more than one meaning to it, but that's not, not even where I'm coming out from this. Make the change. Making a change is fine. You want to be, you know, uh, we, we want to be right. We want to make this change. But to make this part of the preface, to say, ooh, 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 look at us. Um, oh, we're, we're doing something good for uh, the members of the Jewish faith. We're, well, we know phylactery has been in use in, in, in D&D since, what, 1973, 74, whatever. One of those early, probably early on in gaming. But uh, we've decided that with, as with, you know, now we're, we're deep in, we're, we're in 2021. We, we, we got to take this word out of, of usage. Why? And I, actually, not even why. Why do you have to tell us? Make the change. It's a fine change. Call it a soul cage. Soul cage, by the way, sounds stupid. All right. Phylactery sounds mystical, magical. It has some certain je ne sais quoi, right? It has that, that oomph to it. Oh, I'm going to put it in my soul cage. Sounds like some term that like Dr. Doom would have made up in the 70s for some evil thing he was going to be doing against the Fantastic Four. Be a bit more imaginative, right? But they can't be. There's no imagination involved in this. We're going to change this and give it a new, new generic stamp because we need to show you, meaning our reader, look at us. Look, we're being relevant. We, we are doing this out of, out, out of the goodness of our soul. No, you're not. No, you're not. H how many people have complained about this over the years? I, I don't know, right? I've, I've never heard of this complaint before, and I've been active in a lot of forums and online. I don't think it ever came up. But somebody went, what can we do that has no cost? 
and yet we can show how how sensitive we are, right? Uh, what about other words like you know, holy relics, right? Isn't that used by different real world churches? We got to take out that word relic, man. We got to replace it with something else. Uh, what, what about a chalice, right? Isn't a chalice used in real world religious functions, right? Uh, let, let's remove that, right? What about what about incense? Incense is used both in real world situations for religions, but in other recreational uses. But let's bring that up. And if you, before anybody goes, well, Tenko, you're just being an ass. Exactly, I am being an ass. Come to the territory. But my point more accurately becomes. If you're going to do something like this, if you're going to re say, oh, well, we're taking this phylactery out, just take it out. Don't do it for the kudos. Don't do it for the slaps on the back and the thumbs up and your press coverage. Even I'm fucking doing it. Do it because you feel it's the right thing to do and just let it be. And let some jackets out there go, hey, uh, apparently liches no longer have uh, phylacteries in Pathfinder. Oh, do you think they get out? They got soul cages. What's up with that? But no, no, no. They gotta go. Oh, oh, oh! Look at us! Look at us! Nothing's changed about all the, the the abilities, the powers, the restrictions. All stay the same, but we're calling phylactery soul cages. Nothing else about it has changed. We're because we're doing it because we're trying to be uh, culturally sensitive. Just do it. Just do it. Don't do it for the fucking kudos. Don't do it for the for the awesomes. Just do it. And that's what it should, this pisses me off. All right. If it's something that is right, if it's something that is correct to do, just do it. Don't do it so you can get. A, well, we got to make sure we get media coverage. Maybe we'll sell a few more copies. Yo, uh, make sure that some people see this. Put it in the preface. Right in the preface. Don't even put it down there in the description of, 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 of the Lich when we talk about them. Put it in the preface so people understand we are being culturally appropriate. I'm not saying your intentions are wrong. But your intentions are wrong. But your intentions aren't to be culturally sensitive. Your intentions are to get kudos for that. And I'm sorry. Fuck you. All right? Do right because it's the right thing to do. Don't do right so you can go buy my shit because look at me. Look at us. We're Paizo and we do right. Sorry. Folks, quick notes. Tomorrow, you see this wonderful hair, head of hair? Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get it cut and then I'm going to uh, dye it blue. God help me. Uh, yes. Because you all raised fifteen hundred and thirty dollars for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, so thank you. I thank you immensely. I can't believe it. And I got to schedule a day to go to Forest Park here in Queens and walk the dog for an hour in the outfit that you saw <sighs> last Saturday. And uh, day to go food shopping. Food shopping. I, I don't want to. Uh, Forest Park. We can. Well, we're not going to draw a crowd. Maybe if one or two uh, onlookers, gawkers want to. Uh, mock me next week. We'll make sure that you guys have a, a time and a place. Um, other than that, uh, Rachel and I will be live tomorrow with my blue hair at 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, we are still in the midst of the world of COVID. I simply ask you to use your common sense. Not telling you to get vaccinated. Not telling you not to get vaccinated. Not telling you wear a mask. And not telling you not to wear a mask. Take actions. Take precautions. Use your common sense. Keep yourself, your family, your friends healthy and safe. You can't help others if you yourself are sick. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. And like I said, I'll be back again tomorrow with my wife, Rach, who, by the way, we are celebrating today 10 years of wedded bliss. I could not ask for a better partner in life, a better partner in crime, uh, better support for my hobbies, my activities. Um, I am truly blessed. So I, I wish each and every one of you to have a blessing as similar as I do because it can't be beat. All right, folks, on that note, I'm out of here. Manyanis.
Laters.